Hi, welcome to my kitchen. Uh, usually I go outdoors, but today is a bit different. I got my grandfather's old radio here. It's a National Panasonic R217R, which was his old travel radio. And it's quite dirty and grimy. So I would like to clean it up and just give it some of the love that it does deserve. I'm not even sure if this thing works. It runs off diesel batteries. I don't have them, so I have to get out. Get some and uh, today I just wanted to at least shine it up visually outside and then uh, later maybe see if this actually works. It's only AM and it's only MW or uh, medium wave and short wave and uh, at least here in Norway we don't have any stations for that at least not many so I'm not sure if I'm even going to pick something up with this one but at least it's gonna be a very nice display piece. So please join me in this little DIY cleanup session in my kitchen. The tools I'll be using are pretty basic and I'm by no means a cleaning professional. I'll be using one of these sponges, uh, magic erasers I think they're usually called. I'll be using a very light detergent here, just a bit of it, but the, that's mostly to get rid of the dust and such on here on the leather and probably also on the radio. And for the leather itself, I will be using some clear mink oil. This is uh, the same as I use on my boots and it's very good for leather to refurbish that. Uh, so hopefully this will look good and a lot better when I'm done with it. So this comes in a leather carrying case and uh, back here looks quite nice. Uh, the front has probably been stored up so it's full of dust and the bottom is also quite bad but it's not worn uh, and this leather is very stiff but it's not brittle. So this is the radio in itself. It's an 8 transistor radio and it goes from uh, 53 to 160 kilohertz and 5 to 18 megahertz. Uh, and on the back here, there's a switch uh, switching between medium and short wave. Inside here, there are some batteries. I'll take a look at, uh, inside here at some later stage. So to get rid of this, uh, these stains, just a bit of leather. I've used this on leather before and it does not mess things up. Uh, so it should be very nice and safe. And uh, I just want to get rid of the, uh, the surface um, dust here, so I just want a bit of moisture. It's not dirty, it's just uh, dusty. And the back actually looks very nice. Also the inside is uh, spotless. This strap here, it's also not uh, dusty and that's leather, but it's some other, or this is actually some sort of plastic. So this needs some other kind of treatment. It's a textured plastic. So there's some text here, medium wave and short wave. I'm not sure if I could be able to refurbish this. I could probably make a stencil, but it would be very hard to match that to the text that's already on here. So I think I'll just leave that as it is. And that looks actually quite well. So, uh, I'm also going to go over it with this uh, magic eraser just to get even more now that I got the worst of it.
and it did pick up a bit but not very much. My guess is that it will pick up a lot more once I go over to the radio here. So if I take a clean surface here and drag that over the top surfaces, you can see it picks up a lot of grime. So this uh, this radio here is um, this radio here is a lot more filthy than the leather bag. So just the old trick here. I got um, I got a nitrile glove in here and uh, then just an uh, old sock to put the leather cream on. And I'm gonna cake this on quite thick just to make sure that it gets a lot of nice moisture and rather go in and uh, clean out these holes later. So I would like to saturate it since it's been dry and stored for a long time. And it does accept it, it uh, gets sucked in quite vigorously here. So on the side here, there's uh, more writing, there's uh, off and volume, and there's apparently an 8 ohm uh, speaker, uh, 8 ohm impedance sp uh, speaker or headphone jack. I think that was all the exposed uh, leather surfaces, so I'll just let this rest and then maybe do a refill later if I feel that it needs it, but uh, for now at least it looks a lot more shiny and good. So now it's time to look at the radio itself and um, uh, I'm gonna just go over it with the same detergent easily and then uh, see if I can take the rest with the magic eraser. It does have some small scuffs and scratches here. But it's been used and loved, so it's uh, nice to clean it. This pack panel is uh, removable as well, so uh, I'll be sure to take that out later. That immediately looks a lot smoother. Uh, there seems to be a slight amount of dust inside of here. I'm not going to disassemble it to that level to clean it. Uh, I would just like to have it mostly look nice. Thank you. 
So that should be it for the main cleaning. I'll just go over it with the magic eraser just to see if I can get some some a bit more here but Yep, that's what I'm gonna do to clean here. Uh, so time to take a little look inside and then I'm gonna go out and get some batteries tomorrow and see if this one works well or not. It's been a few days and I managed to get hold of some D-cell batteries. So now it's time to open this radio and see how it looks inside and then maybe try if it still works and if there's anything here it's able to pick up because there's not much uh, transmissions on AM at least in this part of Europe anymore but it's worth a try on the back here uh, there's a big flathead screw and uh, that's the only way to open it or only part you have to do to open it so just do this one and it turns into a thumb screw once you just get it going. And uh, let's see. Yeah, just some small tabs here for retention. On the back panel here, serial number and uh, the antenna. And uh, just some foam to keep the batteries in apparently. And this is the beautiful insides of the radio. And it is fun to think that this was really modern at one time. A big ferret bar on the top here for the AM reception. And lots of uh, small discrete components here. Doesn't seem like there's any chips here at all. Only discrete. I'm not going to disassemble this. Uh, this uh, is mostly a showpiece for my end. So... I'm sure there are some in-depth technical views somewhere on the net for people that are interested in that. But to uh, do a bit more of a close-up here, there's a battery tray here for two D cells, uh, antenna as I mentioned before, speaker, 8 ohms. On the side here there's a headphone jack and uh, this is uh, power on and uh, volume, so it's just uh, a normal switch like that. There are a few transistors here, so at one time that was apparently very modern. Other than that, just discrete simple components. And uh, yeah, probably a very standard design for a radio at this time. So, making sure it's turned off. And both batteries go in the same way here, and the positive terminal is actually down. That's interesting. But still, it's probably to keep the electrons from falling out this top end of the battery. And you can see here, this uh, small tab here matches the antenna. So uh, in order to see if there's any audio, I probably will have to do that, but we can just see first. There is sound, so let's just pop this on loosely and see if it works. So now it's time just to see if there's any life in this one. We heard that there was some sound, so probably at least the receiver is good, but uh, uh, we don't know if it receives anything. On the back here, there's a switch for MV and uh, or medium wave and short wave. I put it to medium wave. And uh, let's just see what happens when I turn the volume knob here. So let's just see what happens when I turn the volume knob. So this is the top dial, it goes from 53 to 160 kilohertz.
that sounds very quiet. Let's try to switch pens. And I could, uh, I can hear that there's uh, some um, oxidation on the contacts here. But again, this is going to be just for display, so I'm not going to uh, do any work on cleaning those up. This tuning dial is not good. It doesn't appear to pick anything up. So that was a short test of uh, the reception capabilities of the radio. I didn't pick anything up here, but that may just as well be because there's no stations out there. I really don't know. Um, so, uh, yeah. This has just been a fun, nice travel into this radio that I got after my grandfather. I was able to dig up some history about it as well. He bought this when he lived in Spain. So uh, it was something they had there, close to Benidorm on the eastern coast of Spain towards the Mediterranean. Just a nice piece of family history to keep track of. So what remains now is just putting it into its carrying pouch. And uh, the pouch uh, actually turned out quite well. The leather took well to this, uh, the weather look, took well to the cream. So uh, just put it in here and uh, snap everything together on the rear. By the way, I did not, didn't do anything with this plastic. Uh, I'm not sure how. To do that actually and I think this is just too gone to have any use but anyways so this is very different from my normal videos it's uh, fun to look into these old radios and of course very nice to work on some family history this will be on the shelf behind me and just a nice thing to look at and I really wanted to save the leather before it went too bad Thank you very much for watching, I hope you liked it and if you do please leave a like, comment or subscribe to the channel for some other radio related stuff that is not restoration of radios. Thank you very much, 7-3.